Welcome back to the channel. All along we've been talking about uh, having our repository locally on our computer for some edits in our IDE and by now you realize that uh, we're going to use one command line uh, item uh, that's the git clone and what we need is uh, we need to get the URL by clicking the icon uh, in our repository or actually going and getting uh, the full URL to our repository. Uh, when we go in our command line um, you realize that uh, we are not yet into the folder that we should be working so we need to go in classic and then go into the WP content and that is simply because this is a plugin that's why I want to go into the plugin folder onto our local install of classic press. You can see a, a video that is up in the notes uh, about installing classic press or migrating from WordPress. So we go to our classic folder right on our local server and then we're going to WP content, we're going to plugins and then we're going to the plugins folder. You realize that there is actually nothing now apart from the index file that protects uh, the folder uh, but then we shall just have to change directory and then uh, we'll drag the plugins folder to get the full absolute uh, link to that particular folder. When you hit enter we're now ready and if we just type ls it will show us the files that are available uh, into our local plugins folder and we'll see that there's only one index.php file actually existing right now. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, I'll just try to blow this out so that we can see better uh, is type git clone and then we'll just paste the link that we copied from our browser and when we hit enter the repository will start cloning onto our local computer and now we can just wait uh, depending on the link that you have of internet that's how fast the download speeds will be so we'll just hold on for that. Alright so our data will verify that it has been downloaded and once that is done we'll have our repository right on our local server in our plugins directory and we are good to go now. So when we check our local directory in our plugins folder you will see that we have classic commas that has been cloned. It's the same one that we got offline. So what I'm going to do is actually just go into the admin section of my uh, local website and I'll just go to classic slash wp-admin and on logging in on my local host uh, I'll find and go to the plugin section you'll actually realize that there's only one plugin that's available there. We can activate, uh, we can actually just see the different links that are available showing us the team that's building the plugin, uh, we can see how to visit the plugin page, you can see the docs, APIs and even the premium support. However this seems to be an error since uh, this is a fork we cannot send uh, tickets coming from a fork into the premium support that will be lost. So this is something that we can actually work on and send uh, into Classic Press uh, as a PR. So what we're going to do is actually just open this file up in our editor and once we go there we're going to use the editor to find uh, that premium support link.